Of course you've heard about probiotics, but what about psychobiotics? You don't wanna miss this, and in 10 seconds, I'm gonna tell you all about this cutting edge new kind of supplement. Hi, I'm Sage. It's great to be here with you. I'm here to be your source of cutting edge wellness information that can help you find answers to become happier and healthier. Please do me a favor and support us by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell. It does so much to support our tiny family business and just takes you a second to do. And as you know, I'm deeply passionate about supporting you along your health journey, not just with educational information like this, but also with some of the amazing products I've created for our company. You can find a link in the description below to the world's healthiest gourmet chocolates, delicious elixir blends, and the purest and most potent adaptogens. There is a new category of probiotics on the block, and these are called psychobiotics. This is based on the idea of the way that certain probiotic strains can actually influence your mind. And this is generally thought to be happening via the vagus nerve, because the vagus nerve is connecting your gut to your brain, and there's signals that are traveling there. And so what's going on in your gut can have a huge impact on what's happening in your brain, and certain probiotics can actually have an impact on mitigating the negative effects of things like stress. So let's take a look here. There's this new probiotic strain that's being talked about a lot recently called Bifidobacterium 1714. It's a very specific strain. And there's been some interesting research done on this that I wanna walk you through. So let's go back in time to 2016 to the Journal of Translational Psychiatry. Now this was a study only done on men. Um, don't think too negatively of them because of that. You see a lot of research just done on men because when you're doing research on women, there's a lot of complexity that comes in based on where all the different women in a study are in their menstrual cycle. So it complicates things. So a lot of times the research is just done on men, but don't worry. Studies that we're gonna talk about in a minute were done on both men and women. So in this study, supplementing with Bifidobacterium longum 1714, uh, I think I should just, for the rest of this video, shorten that to BL1714. So we don't have to like, otherwise this video is just gonna be twice as long as it needs to be. So taking BL1714 was associated with reduced stress and improved memory. And so they found that there were improvements in hippocampus dependent visuospatial memory, as well as uh, enhanced frontal midline electroencephalographic mobility. Wow, got that one out. Uh, so they were continually decreasing the levels of stress over the four week period in which they were taking this probiotic. Uh, in the end, uh, as best I could tell from the research, on average, it was about a 15% decrease in reported levels of stress. Now, of course, to me, I'm thinking, okay, you only took it for four weeks. When we see lots of studies on supplements, herbs, things like that, you're looking at at least like six to 12 weeks. You know, I wouldn't judge a probiotic probably before the two to three month point generally. So I'm curious to see what would have happened had they extended that study out further and continued taking these probiotics. Now, another study, uh, this one's a little bit more recent. This was from 2019 from the American Journal of Gastroenterology. And this looked at women and men uh, in the ages of 18 to 50. And this is pretty cool. They found that it modulating resting neural activity in a way that corresponded with enhanced vitality and reduced mental fatigue. And it was also able to modulate neural responses during situations of social stress. So it's very exciting and fascinating stuff going on here. Now, one more year further forward, 2020. Uh, now this is published in 2020 and, and, and actually conducted prior to that. I think it's important to note because anytime we're looking at stress, I think uh, probably in 2020, um, around the, this is published in April, 2020. So anything in that time, if it was conducted then, I would you know have a lot of question marks going up because people were, no matter what was going on, people were going through insane stress and anxiety during that time for understandable reasons. But this was actually conducted before that. So this was with younger people. Um, and this was from ages 18 to 22. And they did not hear, interestingly, find benefits for reducing stress, anxiety, or depression. And so I was like, hmm, what? could be going on there. Why didn't they find any benefits at all? Started reading through the study, reading through the study. Oh, they only took it for a week. Come on, you can't expect to have a transformational benefit from taking any supplement, really. You can't judge it after a week. That is way too soon. So to me, I would kind of throw that one out the window. Now, important to note, a year later, 2021, in the same journal, Brain Behavior, Immunity, and Health Journal, 
we get another study. Here, it's done for eight weeks, so a little better. I would still love to see like 12, 16 weeks, like what happens after six months, but okay, let's be reasonable. Uh, we'll take what we can get for now. Uh, eight weeks, 20 male students during exam stress. Now this is a pretty small sample size, so, so I'm a little bit hesitant to, to get too excited about this one. And indeed, they did not find improvements in stress, depression, or memory in this study. But on the other hand, they did find significant improvement in both sleep quality and duration. And as you guys know, I'm hugely passionate about the benefits of sleep health and the ripple effects that it can have into so many other areas of your health. Now, here's the thing, in this study, they were doing it for eight weeks, great, but as I said, only 20 people in the study because they started out with 30 and a bunch of people dropped out. And on the probiotic side, so many people dropped out that it, so you had 12 people uh, in the control group that remained in the study and only eight people on the probiotic side. So to me, that's way too small of a sample size. So uh, I, I take that whole study with a grain of salt as well. So. Initial research overall on this probiotic, I think is quite interesting, quite exciting. Um, I haven't tried it myself yet. I have ordered um, my first bottle to try. That should be coming next week. So maybe in a couple months, we'll do an update video and I can share my personal, you know, anecdotal experience with you guys. Um, if any of you have already gotten your hands on some and tried it, let me know what you're, what you're feeling and thinking. Um, maybe you're seeing this, you know, many, many months from now and you've already been taking it for six months or something like that. I would love to hear in the comments what your experience has been. But before we finish, I just want to read to you something that the authors of the final study wrote at the end of the study, because I think it's very important to have this information for context. So they said, our study is not without limitations. These include the fact that our sample size was small and our participants were healthy and volunteered for a study during their exam period. Overall, 10 patients withdrew from the study with seven of them being from our treatment group, which reduced our statistical power. Indeed, it is possible that Bifidobacterium longum 1714 uh, would be more efficacious in conditions with an anxious phenotype, such as somebody with irritable bowel syndrome or depression. Furthermore, we did not examine brain imaging or EEG, which has shown promise as functional readout of efficacy in probiotic strains. So this was all just self-reported feelings. Uh, study was very small and it was in people who were already quite healthy. So maybe they already had a good population of this probiotic living in their gut already. So taking more might not have made such a huge difference, but it could have been interesting had they given it to people who were a little bit more messed up and seeing how they would potentially improve. Before you guys go, here is a link to a video that I think you might enjoy watching next. And over here is a link to a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks you would enjoy. And up there is a link to our website. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again next time.